in a while I know that they have to do it but when they ask me for my ID it's like oh, okay you know I, I pretend to be really flattered and stuff but I know that with each year that passes that's gonna happen less and less and and one day I will reach the point where I get carded for the last time and, and then nobody would ever possibly believe I was under 21 so I was thinking that for that day I need to get a, uh, a fake ID that says that I'm under 21. When I was younger, you know, I was a hamburger man. I never ate chicken because I never really um, liked fried chicken. Because especially KFC, KFC was delicious. You get a hot KFC in the early days, it's delicious and it tastes so great. Then you eat the second piece, delicious, and the, by the third one you get heartburn. And I don't know what what it was, so I never really took a liking to chicken. And I grew actually I grew up eating McDonald's. And McDonald's came to. Uh, the town I was in, which is Wilmington, California, in 1961, changed my life. I became a devoted hamburger guy. I like colorful, eccentric characters, people from the fringes of society or the fringes of our own minds. I like outsiders, and I use the term freak with fondness. Yeah. So I hope anyone who I consider a freak takes it as a compliment. Is a freak always an outsider, or is an outsider always a freak? I think so. I think it's uh, something about the unknown, you know? Like, you may be an outsider just in how you feel inside, even if the society around you sees you as a normal functioning person. That's a real slippery slope, the Nansen stuff, because the more you get like, well, actually, you know, he never killed anybody. You just look like a nut, and like, nobody, like, there's no reason to like redeem Charlie Nancy as a bad guy. What is that it factor in, a, in an animal that makes it historically significant? Well, first of all, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick an argument with you. Okay. Okay. Because, um, the, you know, dogs get it not for being man's best friend, because dogs stole that from cats. You know, if you go back to the ancient world, it was all about cats. You know, think about ancient, ancient Egypt, Egypt yeah. and you know, it was all about cats. There was a point at which, and this this goes off on a tangent, but it has a lot to do with the way we've treated gender and created a patriarchal society. Dogs are faithful, cats are capricious, cats are timid, cats are, you know, household creatures, blah, blah, blah. And so what, what, what really happened to cats was that they went from being our closest companion to kind of being shunted away and just like, just like a lot of the accomplishments of famous women throughout history. And I see the snake guy and he's like strutting around and he looks at one of the street vendors who's out there selling hot dogs, and he's like, hey, have you seen the other snake guy today? And she was like, no. He's like, nice. The block is mine. Like, they really think I'm Shelley Long trying comedy under another name. So they're like, we won't tell if you don't. Like, this one guy goes, we know how stars are. Shelley Long would would play up that she She'd was Shelly like, Long. like, I'm Shelly Long. I would be oh yeah, I love Shelly Long. She wouldn't be at Edgewater. <laughs> She'd be Shelly Long doing. And why would Shelly Long just decide to try comedy now all the, after all these years? I don't know, she's working all the time, you know? I don't know, maybe she wants to though. People want to. <laughs>